Well, catheter ablation of atrial fibrillation continues to evolve. Each and every year there's new techniques, new approaches, but more importantly, improved outcomes. If you say what's around the corner, there's a lot of excitement on, about some of the new ablation energy sources. Pulse wave ablation is one of them, which is another word for electroporation. Also super cool cryoablation. Uh, so there's a lot of work going on. Uh, I, I think patients and, and electrophysiologists can be optimistic that over the years ahead, the results which are good now are gonna be even better. The question is, uh, what guidelines can we give about whether to continue anticoagulation or stop it in someone who's had AF ablation and is now AFib free? I think the data is very clear or the recommendations are very clear. The 2017 consensus documents makes it very clear that decisions about continuing or stopping anticoagulation two months post ablation should be based on a patient's risk profile, stroke risk profile, and not on the perceived presence or absence of, of atrial fibrillation. And that reflects the fact that AFib is not curative forever. AFib can recur, it can be asymptomatic, you can have strokes even though you're not having atrial fibrillation. So again, it really comes down to what's your stroke risk profile, what's your CHADS vas vas score. If you've had a prior stroke, if you have a high CHADS vas score, yes, get an ablation, but no, don't stop the anticoagulation because we just don't have the data that it's safe and the consequences could be devastating. Oh, the Heart Rhythm Society. I mean, this year, I think it's a very exciting year because it's the 40th anniversary of this organization, now with over 7,000 members, and there's more than 12,000 people here at the conference. I think one message is that the field of electrophysiology and heart rhythm disorders continues to grow rapidly. There's a lot of new te technologies and techniques uh, being developed. You know, the, the societies work together with industry of partners. So I think it's more progress is being made, awareness is increasing, you know, we're all dedicated to eliminating death and suffering from heart rhythm conditions and we'll continue on our journey.